welcome back to another vlog. So, but before I start the vlog, I want to show you guys something pretty cool to me anyways. So I drive, my daily is like an old, old Toyota Corolla and that thing doesn't have anything, like no power windows, no cruise control. This is probably my third time taking the Honda on the, uh, on the highway. And when I put it in cruise control, I didn't realize it has lane assist. Like, yeah, and it's, it's cool, you guys. Like, this is like, for me, it's like mind blowing. I do have a Tesla and it drives all by itself too, but for a Honda, it's, like, it's amazing, you guys. It just keeps the lane. You just gotta touch the steering wheel once in a while. Comparing to the Toyota, cause I have a RAV4 too. I think Honda is like superior, you guys. So anyway, heading down to uh, Red Deer for a midnight rev up. It's called the season closer. Uh, I thought our um, season was uh, done, uh, the last car show, but apparently they, they're hosting another one. So this is the last one. It's gonna be a good one. We'll see you guys there. Car wash time. California Blade. Yeah, I know, I know. You guys are probably thinking I'm scratching up on my car. Air protection. All right, guys, so we're posted up at the show here, and oh, I'm telling you, the more and more I spend time with this car, the more I fall in love with it. It's just absolutely just gorgeous, you guys. I just can't say it enough. Um, we got friends. He's out here giving the car some love. Oh, she's just sweet, you guys. We got the new spoon wing here. And music exhaust. Woo! Yeah, let me give you guys a shot here. Oh, just sitting pretty, you guys. Woo! It's coming along, coming along. So if you guys are wondering, these are Bridge Japan seats, just Bridge spelled backwards. I know a lot of you guys are asking me if this is a seat cover or what kind of brand it is. It is Bridge Japan, you guys. All right, so it's that time of the show. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite car of the show, and it happens to be European. Woo! 355. Got some JDM flare on it. Work wheels with uh, Narita dog fight. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Recaros, sub out. OMP. Woo. This guy's got some good taste. This slammed right to the floor, you guys. Yeah, that's my favorite car, but check out some of these evils. Mm. These are hard to get. If you got one of these, I would hold on to them. Ooh. This is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Good, some good taste on this one. So on my last vlog in Calgary, I was talking about those personal license plates. And remember that one I was told you about with Pokai? A lot of people probably think it's like Poke Bowl or Pokai. <laughs> so I finally found the owner. Let's get the backstory uh, behind the license plate. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Very nicely executed. All right, you guys. So this is that infamous license plate that uh, I was talking about and we found the owner his name is Brian that's what he does uh, okay Brian so what is the actual true meaning of is it it's a Chinese uh yes so <laughs> yeah. I am Chinese and uh, the literal meaning if you spell it out it means poke and guy so the, it was to be funny it yeah. is poke guy in Chinese but you know to a lot of people if you don't know people assume it is poke guy. Poke ball, right? Yeah, like poke. <laughs> or if it's uh you know poke guy. Like, yeah. You like Pokemon, right? Yeah. Since the car is uh, yellow, so a lot of people oh, think it's okay. Pokemon or Pikachu. 
So luckily I got away with uh, with it when I was registering. Yeah. People thought it was Pokemon. So yeah, was Pokemon, like, right? Yeah. But it does mean that. <laughs> nice, nice. It's just like if you know if you know. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there you go guys. Heard from the owner. Nice to meet him. And I got the actual backstory of the license plate. Yeah. Thanks again, Brian. No problem. Yeah. Boom. Okay, you guys, so next up, this is probably the coolest truck. I, I, I swear, it's the coolest truck right out of the box. And a lot of times, it's hard to get a truck that looks good straight out of the box unless it's like a Raptor or a TRX. But this, you guys, this is, I seen it at SEMA, and now it's in the flesh, you guys. And not many of them in Canada. Let me show you. This thing is sexy, right out of the box. It looks lifted, but it's not lifted, you guys. Wow, besides he put on T's, which is, hmm. Look, vacuum suspension. It, it just, all the right, I, 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 it's all the right curves. All the right curves. And on black, woo! So, from far away, you may mistaken it as a Tundra because the, the light did fool me at first, but the dead giveaway is the red toe hook. And I talked to the owner, it's the rear glass, you guys. If you look at that, that's a dead giveaway that it's a new Tacoma. And for the TRD Pro, this is how you tell it's a TRD Pro. If you look at the fender flares, on the sport and stuff there's an air vent here so if you see one of these on the road and you see no air vent it's a trd pro mm. so there's one more car that i really want to mention he's the one that kind of designed well he is one that designed my uh decals that will be going on a helmet that i have his car is absolutely clean so this is uh jason's um honda s2000 at first I thought it was like the Mugans, but they're not. They're folks. But it's very clean. Yeah. That's his company. Hit him up, you guys. But it's not often you see a clean one with this. I love the taste on the on the NSXR button. Mm-hmm, very good. Mm. This is our car guy life. So we're just about to leave Red Deer and poor Jay called and uh, his car is dead. We need a new battery. Well, got it replaced. He's really in a vulnerable position right now. Oh. <laughs> Jay. Yeah. No, it's, not, it's not going here. Not going Not a anywhere. good day today for you, eh? Definitely not. Well, at least the battery is easy to access. Uh, and you sure got it out. You got it in already? Yeah, I got it in oh, already. I got it already. Okay, so hopefully, so what was wrong with it? Battery voltage way too much. It was, yeah, it just wasn't doing it, eh? It doesn't want to do it. So when you, if probably your lights turned on? Uh, it's, it flickers. And then it's almost night. Oh. And yeah, then don't, don't want to give me any power at all. Okay, so hopefully, uh, hopefully, so hopefully this uh, is a battery and nothing else, eh? <laughs> Not doing it now, eh? No. Yeah, so um, we yeah, good? We, we'll good? we go Gucci? On. Okay, I follow you, eh? Okay, that's why it's kind of good to uh, if you're a lone wolf, you'd be in trouble right now. No bet. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. let's go, Jay. Thanks. All right, so it kind of sucks. Jay's car is having some problems. Uh, I'll show you guys. We're kind of in like uh, limp mode right now. We're just cruising about roughly 80 kilometers an hour and uh, yeah, it's here. yeah it just it, it sucks but it is what it is what are you supposed to do you just can't leave a friend hanging so I'm just uh, following up just 
following behind him to make sure everything's okay so we get home safe and sound. Can't leave a friend hanging, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. So, yeah, it was a long night, but I'm home now. Yeah, you know what? Let me put the car on the hoist because most of you guys know I don't drive my car in the rain and uh, we got caught in the rain last night on the way home. Thought I would miss it, but even though they, they moved the show up an hour uh, early for the awards, I thought we were going to make it home without rain, but I'll explain to you guys. Let me get the car on the hoist. I know, I know, I know you guys, it, it, it's just, just a Civic, but it's my Civic, my Civic. And yeah, let's get the car on the hoist. Okay, let's see. Okay, how many of you guys don't drive your cars in the rain? Because certainly I don't. I enjoy my car outside, underneath the hood, and underneath the carriage. It is because I have the option or have the luxury of a hoist. And I do admire and enjoy a lot of things underneath the car. Because there's a lot of engineering and I just enjoy a lot of stuff. And I like looking at it. That's why I want to keep everything clean. I like everything clean. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are the same or just, this is just, I don't know. But I liked, I enjoyed all that stuff underneath. Okay, so look at that already. Look at all this, you guys. But apparently, Chasing Jay says Clorox wipes will get rid of all that stuff. And I've tried it and it works, you guys. Clorox wipes. That's nice. Yeah, actually. Yeah, look at all the splash marks. And yeah, we did get in the, caught in the rain. Like this was all nice and clean like this. But now look at it. So. I'm thinking, I was told, ice blasting. Uh, has any of you guys tried ice blasting? Uh, it looks good online. It looks really good online, but never tried it myself. And I was wondering if it's worth it or not. Uh, it looks pretty simple. It's, they say it's really safe. And for guys like me that love to enjoy the cars underneath, but I want to retain all the, you know, the factory, uh, uh, it's like their paint that they put on, like all this stuff. I want to retain all that stuff, but I don't want to get rid of all this stuff. Technically, I can wipe it all myself and just, you know, call it a day. This is another thing I wanted to keep really clean. This is hard to clean. When you clean it, you can, yeah, it doesn't look as good anymore. But. Ooh, you can hear all this. Yeah, maybe I'll take that off too. Yeah, I know it's a little excessive, but I like to keep all my stuff clean. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all that gravel. Man, there was so much last night. Living in Canada, it's like the worst. Okay, it's actually not that bad compared to uh, what I anticipated. But anyways, it was a long night because uh, let me recap on Jay's car. My buddy had the, lo the longest day. First off, on the way there, we didn't go cruising. We had to like take it easy because he couldn't boost. Something was wrong with his car, so we anticipated it was the battery. We used a C-Tech. C-Tech was fantastic, saved his ass, got him on the road. But unfortunately, it wasn't the battery on the side of the road. We pulled over at a and changed the battery, and yeah. So we limped all the way home. I was crying because I was stuck in the rain. He's crying. He's all crapping his pants because he doesn't know what's wrong with his car. And of course, when it's your baby, you, you, I totally understand. I've been in his position. You can't sleep at night. But let's talk about Midnight Rev Up, you guys. I think this is one of the shows in Canada that is really, really, it's a young show. They've been around for a while, but I don't think they are given enough recognition. If you're into the Hondas and the JDM scene, this is the car show for you. Most of the crowd is Filipino. I mean, you'd almost say it's a Filipino car show, but it's more than a Filipino car show, you guys. What can you say? Yeah, if you get the opportunity to go check them out, I would, check, I, I would totally check them out, you guys. I think it's really underrated. They put on a good show, you guys. It's very, uh, how do I explain it? It's more or less, what's the show in the States there? Uh, I've been to it a few times and you get that kind of vibe from them. Um, uh, wake Fest, Wake Fest, Wake Fest, Wake Fest, yes. Canadian style Wake Fest is what I would uh, classify them as. You know, it's, it's different, it's different. This show, Red Deer, uh, is a little on the slow side. It was a last minute thing. They put it on, they pulled it off. Definitely kudos to them, they pulled it off, you guys. I think it'll be bigger and bigger every year. And I think it's been, they're gonna do well. So worthwhile checking them out. It's a good show. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog and we'll see you guys in the next week. See ya. Oh, <laughs>